Every industry needs visionaries, people with so many ideas, they have to act on them or their heads will explode. Bruce Linton is a true visionary of the Canadian cannabis industry. He's most famous for taking, in his words, a bad idea, cannabis growth, and turning it into a multi-billion dollar reality. On his own, he continues to be one of the, fun, the industry's biggest investors. I suppose the flaw in giving Bruce a Lifetime Achievement Award, it honors his past where he's still creating the future. He continues to generate big ideas, from hydrogen fuels to new uses for the cloud to an online rental company for household tools. We may end up giving Bruce several Lifetime Achievement Awards before he's done. But here's the first. Let's take a look at the video. If all Bruce Linton ever did was co-found Tweed and found Canopy Growth, which he led to becoming the cannabis giant, he would be an industry legend for that alone. After all, under his leadership, Canopy Growth lived up to its name spectacularly. In six years, it went from, as he calls it, a bad idea, to a peak valuation greater than $20 billion. This was built through 16 rounds of financing, totaling more than $6 billion in investment, and 31 acquisitions creating operations in 16 countries. Good thing it was terminated to give others a chance to catch up. But doing one thing was never in the cards for Bruce Linton. After his splits with Canada Growth, he used his time and capital to invest in no fewer than 10 part-time jobs. Among the most visible, Michigan-based Gage Growth Corp, which entered an agreement to be acquired by Tara Sen, creating one of the leading enterprises in the U.S. cannabis market. He co-founded Oscar Capital in Europe to fund the third wave of cannabinoid offerings that utilized the supportive and rational research opportunities in the EU and UK. His resume is dizzying. Up until September this year, Bruce was a founding board of director member of Mind Medicine Inc., where he also served as the chairman of governance and compensation committee of the psychedelic inspired medicine biotech company. He's a co-chairman and former CEO of Martello Technologies Group, the chair of the advisory board for the psychedelics company Red Light Holland Corp., chairman of the advisory board for Above Foods Corp., and chairman of the advisory board for Miami Cocktail. He sits on the board of directors of the Canadian Olympic Foundation and is on the campaign executive committee of the Ottawa Hospital Foundation as they seek $400 million of community funding to replace a hospital built in 1918 in response to the Spanish flu. And everywhere he looks, Bruce Linton spots opportunity. Who else would think of all the things in our garages and homes as environmental destruction that can be shared and monetized to help the planet and the peer-to-peer -peer economy? So, he's now chairman and CEO of Fat Llama, an online peer-to-peer -peer sharing almost everything company in the vein of Airbnb and Uber. The world would do well to continue to listen to Bruce Linton on a wide variety of subjects. He sees U.S. agriculture in desperate need of a third major crop after corn and wheat and foresees him filling that role. He is holding off on upgrading his 2004 VW as he wants a hydrogen fuel vehicle next. Whichever way his attention turns, Bruce Linton strives through entrepreneurialism to make a positive difference. He undoubtedly has at least another lifetime of achievement left in him. Nonetheless, it is with pride and admiration that Grow Up honors its great friend and giant of the industry, Bruce Linton, with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you, I uh, seldom blush. But, um, I will not. I've been very fortunate to have lightning hit a few times, and I would hope that all I can cause for us who are in this room to maybe help you, help make it a little easier, a lot of people reach out to me and I think they're surprised. I really like what they do. So um, if you're not on LinkedIn, this might be a reason to be on LinkedIn. And I'll close with, we got that $5 billion because there was a guy who worked at Constellation. He was on LinkedIn. Um, I'm not promoting him, but it's good fishing. Talk to you soon. Thanks.